Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome to the channel where I make how to videos. Here is a quick Mac tip. In this video, we're going to learn how to launch multiple instances or copies of the same app like Blender, Photoshop, etc. By default, some of the apps can only be opened or launched just once. There are multiple ways you can open an app, either from the dock by clicking an icon here, by going to the application, selecting an app from here, from the launch pad, even from the spotlight by typing in the name of the app or using the terminal, then typing in the path to the name of the app. But all of these will launch just the app once. If you want to launch a separate copy, you would need something else. So that's what we're going to learn here. So if I open up Blender here from the dock, and let me also open Photoshop. If I try to go to the applications here and select Blender, it would just run the same app that's already running. It won't create another copy. It's similar for Photoshop. So if I go to my Finder and select that, it would just put forward the running app. So if I want to run another copy, here's what you would need to do. So open up the terminal, type in this command, open-n, and then go to the Finder application for the Applications folder. Select the app, right-click, while holding the option key would allow you to copy the path name. Go back to the terminal and paste that in. And when you hit enter, it would execute that command and launch another copy of Blender. As you can see here, I now have two copies of Blender running. Um, let me close this and this one. And let's do the same for Photoshop. So here, back to the Finder, if I open the Photoshop folder here, I could right click, copy path name, run the same command, but this time enclose it in single quotes because there is a space within the folder name. If I hit enter, that will launch another copy of Photoshop. So I have now two copies of Photoshop running. The downside of this method, let me close this out, quit this out. The downside is you need to run this command every time. You open up the terminal and run the command every time. So a better way is to save this command as a shell script. So to do that, open up the spotlight and search for script editor. This is a built-in tool within macOS. So from the script editor, go on file and select new and you will see this editor. So type in the following, do shell script, double quotes, and then copy the same command that we run on the terminal. Paste it in here, and quote. And to test it out, uh, click this play button to run the script. You would see here, it just launched and run Blender. If I run it again, it would launch another copy of Blender. So let me close this too. I don't want to save. Now I could save this script by clicking on Command Save and default is saving it on the iCloud folder. You could save it anywhere you like. So I could call this Open Blender. And the file format is, this is for the script. If I want to run this by just clicking on the uh, file without going to run script here, what you could do is export it as an application. So go back to export, select as application, save it on the same folder, and then save. So if I open up my finder here, go to the iCloud, and go to script editor where I have it saved, I have the application file here, and I have the script file here. So I could edit it anytime again. So by clicking on the application file here, it would act like a shortcut and it would execute and then open the whatever commands inside. So that is to open up Blender. Now I could add this to my dock here and then use that as a shortcut and then just click on it to open Blender. 
And then you could do the same for um, any app that you want to launch multiple times. So I could do this again for Photoshop. So let me just copy this command, click File, New, and this time paste that in. Go back to my terminal, copy the path for Photoshop, and replace that. Run query, see if it's working. If it's working, go ahead and quit that. I'm gonna save it. Open PS, and then I'm gonna export it as well as a application. Then back on my finder, I could open that same application to open up Photoshop. Cool, so there you go, a quick and easy way to launch multiple copies of the same app. It doesn't work on all the apps, so you would need to test it and figure out which one works or not. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down if you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Cheers, bye for now.